this is an experiment that I wanted to do quite a long time ago. Uh, I always had the idea in my mind and well now I realized it. It is say a kind of scale and a very sensitive scale. I have to say that um, it is made with a coil here of 150 windings. There is a tiny ferrite rod here and it is mounted on an aluminum plate, very thin alu, from cola cans or so, soft drink cans, etc. And the whole idea is very simple. Uh, the coil is connected to an oscillator. That oscillator uh, have I already published on YouTube. It's on a very low frequency, but anyway. Um, and the coil has 150 windings and it means that when the the ferrite rod is uh, not moving, we have a certain frequency. But when we move in that ferrite rod, that frequency changes. And that means that uh, when you have here, for instance, a certain weight here, and put it on that a piece of aluminum, uh, the frequency will change. And there is, of course, a relation between the frequency and the weight. And now I have here a piece of foam. It weighs a, more or less nothing. But let me at first show what happens when we say uh, give this aluminum plate a kind of swing. Now the oscillation is on 625 kHz. It's a sine wave oscillator. 625 kHz. And now touch that alu plate and let it swing out. And of course the counter cannot follow all these swinging outs in a very quickly, but anyway, let me do it again. So you can surely see that you can use such a uh, circuit or such a setup as a scale or as a movement um, uh, device, movement detector, or perhaps, or not perhaps, even as an earthquake detector, anyway. And this is how it was made. Very, very simple. Uh, the coil here on the top, uh, made with on a, on a paper roll of 8 millimeters, 150 windings, and well, there's not so much more to tell. So let's look again. And this is what happens. And of course the frequency constantly changes. And as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, also in a sine wave way, uh, talking about the movement of a spring. And this is in fact a spring. I don't go too deep in, say, the properties of a spring, the physical properties, that's what I mean. Anyway, uh, is there a sort of kind of linear relation between the movement or not? I think it's in a certain way linear. Don't know that exactly. Anyway, now I'm going to uh, put on my experimental circuit this piece of foam. It weighs almost nothing. Uh, now it is 625 kilohertz. Now I put on that piece of foam. Of course it swings a little bit out. And now we surely see that we have another frequency. So there is a good way to use this as a sensitive, very sensitive scale. Now it's 584 kilohertz. I take off that tiny piece of foam. And it is when all is swings is all swinged out 6 to 5 kilohertz so a surely very good way in my opinion to make a very sensitive scale and uh, we are a little bit acquainted with software etc etc uh, software programs there must surely be a, a software program program that can be written to say directly uh, translate the movement of the spring 
to a certain grams or ounces or whatever. So finally, how the circuit was made. Thanks for watching by the way. It's very simple, like I have showed here. Here's the coil with 150 windings, uh, with a lower amount of windings uh, the frequency will go up with more windings the frequency will go down anyway not so much more to tell about this uh, the oscillator that i used is in an other uh, video on my youtube channel and in the description i will give the link to that oscillator again thanks for watching and this is always fun I think it's a very good usable setup.